from your post office. A spare part overnight from St. Louis kept my factory from going kablooey. This came from L.A. the very next day, and for a night's service, it's not much to pay. Under a pound is under $10 anywhere we go from 3,000 post offices. Overnight from the firm in Duluth, Express Mail works. Here's the proof. When you need it overnight, we deliver. During the week of October 19th to 25th, communities all across the United States will make an investment in America's greatest resource, its youth, by celebrating National High School Activities Week. Please call your school to learn how you can help. Bucky Scribner has done it again. He's backed up one of the Kansas opponents to their own one-yard line. He's used to that. Well, he's done it uh, three times inside the 10 this year. One out of every four punts. That's not bad. Rick Spivey. They break the ball in their own end zone. Hands the full back. Hit at the three. Stays on his feet. And it's going to be now thrown back into the end zone. He'll be marked down at about the three-yard line. Maurice Carthen, the fullback. Buried under a host of blue shirts. Led by Robert Gentry, 14, the free safety. Gert, 84, the strong safety. Gain of, a, gain of about two yards. And that's a very big defensive line. You've got Greg Smith, the nose guy, at 280. Mark Wilbers, number 98, at 240. And number 95, Broderick Thompson at 265. They're going to have trouble running up the middle. It is second down and eight. Maurice Carthen, you see the fullback, 33. Averaging better than four yards a carry. Let's see how he gets this time. Goes to the five and is stuck right there. Gets a couple of yards to the five. It'll be third down and about five. Greg Smith, 77, the middle guard. Kyle Norton, the linebacker, 81 over the top. One of the problems that Arkansas State has right now is that they can't really go out onto the corner and start pitching that ball around. They can't afford a fumble, particularly down here. They're going to go to a short punt formation. They're going to punt it away. Oh, he lost the football. Now trying to kick it away. It's blocked. It'll be a safety. Two points for Kansas. It was a high snap. Bruce Gartman could not handle it. And rushing through to get his hands on it. Looked like Kyle McDorsibly. He blocked it out of the end zone. It's a safety. Kansas is the number one team in the nation in safeties, Bob. They've already had two this season. Now three. Yes, and uh, number 99, who are watching right here, Gartman, has is several times last year snuck into the game and tried to quick kick on third down as we can see unfortunately for him he bobbled the ball coming back from the center guy, guy neighbors. neighbors looks like he bought that he was the guy number 91 who came in from the near side to get his hands on it then it was kyle mcdorn who chased it out of the end zone it is the third safety this season that's number one in the nation for the kansas jayhawks a defense that makes something happen. They put their team ahead 2-0 with seven minutes and six seconds left in the first quarter. And now Arkansas State has a free kick opportunity from its own 20-yard line. You know, Chris, I think this is the one rule in football that I understand least of all. You get two sc points scored against you, and then you got to come back and kick off from your own 20. Can you explain that? That seems like real punishment, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. You're getting it twice. Well, I know this well feels that maybe punishment deserved. He had a good play going. If it had been a good snap, Kansas had not reacted at all, Bob. They didn't send anybody back. He could have kicked the ball. It might have rolled all the way down the other end of the field. But instead, a high snap, and he just couldn't get it down in time to get it off. It was a great idea. The execution was a little weak. Short punt taken at the 41, 45. Breaking tackle in midfield to the 45. Now they fumble the football. Scramble for it at the Arkansas State 42-yard line. Looks like Arkansas has got it back. That's what they say. Let's see what the official says. Still no sign. They're still wrestling for it down there. Gentlemen, who do we have? Arkansas State has the football first down. Indians will see it again on the replay. Here we can see coming back up right now. And just got knocked out by the helmet. Tim Freeze. Tim Freeze in there. Well, you know, they had in that exchange, they, uh, they had the quick block. They lost two points, but they've got the ball back about uh, on the 43-yard line. Good field position now for Arkansas State as they get the turnover. First and 10 at the 43. Room for the wishbone. Hand off to the second man, Dennis Walker, number 22. Walker takes it up near the 45-yard line. Gain of about two on the play. 6.44 to play in this first quarter. Kansas on a block put out of the end zone. The safety leads it 2-0. 
Dennis Walker, another junior college transfer from the state of Kansas. Fort Scott Junior College, one of the outstanding junior college programs. Walker hails from Newton, Kansas. Second and eight. Full back, fake to him, Spivey on the corner, keeps it all hit hard at the 45-yard line. A great defensive play by Kyle McDorton, the outstanding senior linebacker, number 81, and boy, he flew to the football. Well, he really did. Uh, Kyle McNaughton has been just phenomenal. He's got 13, had 13 tackles last week. Here we can see it right now. He caused most last week, too. Here we can see him, number 91, at the top of your screen, coming across and really does level. 81, Kyle McNaughton makes the tackle. It is now third down and eight after a loss of the play. Spivey loses the football, picks it up, wants to throw, is in trouble, throws it up for grabs. It is short, incomplete. It'll be fourth down in time for Arkansas State to punt again. So Arkansas State has really been its own worst enemy here in the first quarter. They really had, and one of the weaknesses they have, which is, I guess, sort of similar to most wishbone teams, is they really don't throw all that much, and Spivey is not a great passer. He's really a scrambler and a wishbone quarterback. Bruce Gartman is back deep to punt. This time gets a good snap and gets a good kick away. Dan Wagner, number five, waits for it, takes it at the 10, gives ground, he's going to be trapped back at the five-yard line. Great coverage downfield by Arkansas State, 44 yards on the punt, and a minus six yards on the return. So do what the Jayhawks can do, as they are backed up near their own goal line. Five and a half minutes left in the first quarter, Kansas two, Arkansas State nothing. IBM makes a text processor that's easy to use. It's as easy as blueberry pie. Easy because the IBM Display Writer shows you how to edit. It's as easy as pie. Check your spelling. It's as easy as pie. Do math. It's as easy as pie. And now, electronic filing and reports. The IBM Display Writer system. It's a piece of cake. We want to make you smile. Welcome back. I see you brought a friend. My boss hasn't smiled the whole trip. Mm, I'm back. I think you'll like we our beds. Mm, big room. Everything all right? Just fine. Call me for dinner. In an hour. We made him smile. Come to Holiday Inn where your smile said we're number one people pleasing. Next, college football magic continues. Undefeated fourth-ranked Pittsburgh, led by quarterback Dan Marino, tackles South Carolina or other games. Doubleheader intrigue, next. Don Fambro, the head coach of the Jayhawks. His team leading 2-0, but backed up to their own five-yard line. Right after this game, it's the Tigers of Missouri versus the Bulldogs of Mississippi State here on ABC. Doubleheader for you today. Frank Sire, first and ten at his own five-yard line. Garfield Taylor in his own end zone. Takes the handoff. The five stumbles. Falls to the eight-yard line. Getting a hand on him was number 94. Steve Allegas, the defensive tackle out of St. Louis, Missouri. He led this football team, by the way, in tackles for losses in the 1980s. You look at Garfield Taylor, the young man who now has to step to the forefront here and become Kansas's great running back after losing Kerwin Bell. left in the quarter. Second down, seven. Kansas at its own eight-yard line. Again, it's to Taylor. Taylor, hit this time at the 10, falls forward to the 11 or 12. It'll be third down and short yardage. Henry Harris, 24. Gary Burton, 83. Defensively for the Indians. Tim Keene is ASU's defensive coordinator. Up in the booth, as you mentioned, Larry Lacewell. He coaches from the press box, which really makes a lot of sense, Bob. You can sure see a lot better. Actually, Chris, I think Larry's on the sidelines today. I think he crossed the side. we just like him to get some TV time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check on that. Third down and four for Kansas, the 11. They need the 16 for the first down. Taylor won't get it. Cut down for a loss on the play. Big defensive play by Roverin Tillman, number 76. They call him too tall. 6'4", 250, senior. And it's Durham, Georgia. You know, that was a pretty good play for Arkansas State because they're a young team. Of course, they really know they're under. There he is. Here's Larry Lacewell. He's up in the press box. 
He, uh, for the first three games this year, coached in the press box. He was the one without much hair. Scribner kicks from his own end zone. This one doesn't turn over for him. It's taken at the 45-yard line by Benny McGinnis. McGinnis breaks through to the Kansas territory, and a flag goes down. A flag is down. 45-yard punt by Scribner. An eight-yard return by McGinnis, but we do have a flag. Our officials today, a split crew, Dan Foley is the referee, Red Connor the umpire, Dale Shures is the head linesman, Hayden Terry the line judge, John Shorter the field judge, and Bobby Boyd is our back judge. And the markoff, our first flag today, a long one against Arkansas State University. And those are the penalties that we said that Arkansas State had to avoid if they're going to hang Clipping in this game. White during the run back. Thank you, Mr. Foley. A cliff against Arkansas State sets them back. It will be first and ten, but instead of in Kansas territory, they'll be at the 30-yard line. First and ten. They break the wishbone. They send a wing to the left side. That's Walker, who comes in motion to the bottom of the screen. The pitch goes to the other side. It's Beasley, the running back, and he gets just a yard or two. Urban Beasley out of Snow Lake, Arkansas, a junior in for starter Wendell Kelly and he gets just one yard on the play and that tackle made by guess who number 81 Kyle McNaughton there's Beasley and his statistics so far on the season not a bad rushing average almost eight yards every time he touches the football you know they call him the designated catcher they kind of uh, <laughs> pitch the ball out and hope he catches it he's very very fast he ran the 109 six in high school Beasley comes off now. Kelly is back in as they go to the true wishbone on second and nine. Wishbone option. Getting away from one man as the quarterback now makes the pitch outside of the 40. 45, 47, first down. There's a new quarterback in for ASU. That was Tim Langford. Out of Searcy, Arkansas, who made a fine pitch on Waddell Kelly. Gets a first down, the biggest gain of the afternoon for the Indians. A 19-yard gain. Here's the new quarterback, Langford. Okay, we can see it again coming right here. And this is the wishbone really played at its best at the last minute, just as he's about to be tackled, pitched out to Wardell Kelly, the leading ground gainer this year. Block downfield from Jerry Mack. Help get him a few more yards. Number 82, first and 10. Indians got something going here near midfield. And a hunter middle, big hole for the fullback, Carson. And Arkansas State starting the move. Gain of about seven on the play. Ah. It's that rapid return to reality that's a special light on six-man football and the high plains it's played on. With photographer Mike Watson, this is Tom Green reporting. Six-man football. You know, I covered sporting events in small towns in southern Delaware like Laurel, Seaford, Greenville, Blades, Houston, and Del Mar. None of them were as small as... so. Number eight. Or check it. There's some scores. First quarter action. Navy 12. This is Byron uh, Dunnett coming in. He's a freshman from Little Rock, and he wasn't supposed to be playing much, but he's moved up on the team quite well this last two weeks. Came in as a split in. They have bought back their starting quarterback as he's Spivey. Spivey comes in. Wants to throw. Spivey's got a man open. Is knocked away. It was intended for the man who just came in, Byron Dunnick, but Dunnick had to do a pass defender. Robert Gentry was in the corner of the end zone along with Dan Wagner. Wagner was the one who had the best chance to intercept it, and Dunnick knocked it away from him. Here it is again, Bob. Well, we can see right here Spivey coming back. As they say, he's not a great passer. But he doesn't Dunnick have a man with good speed, and he looked like he almost had his man beat. Almost Wagner. doesn't really count, though, does it? Wagner did a good job getting back there. So now the wishbone's in a long yardage situation. It is third down and eight. 18 seconds left in the quarter. Spivey wants to throw. Throws back to his fullback. This is Carthen. Carthen at the 25. Pull down at the 22. Way short of a first down. Defensively, 64. Linebacker Chris Duberin made the tackle. And 
and time is going to run out here in this first quarter. That's a break for Arkansas State because they were going into about a 10 or 15 mile an hour wind. Now at the end of the quarter, they'll have a chance to come back and maybe try a field goal. The program is being brought to you as an exclusive presentation of ABC Sports, and we'll be back with second quarter action in just a moment. Lots of motor oils talk protection and mileage. I want proof. Proof. New York taxis drove over a quarter million punishing miles with no oil-related failures. That's Havlin Supreme Protection. Proof. After a million miles of state trooper driving, no oil-related failures. Proof. In fuel economy tests, it delivered improved mileage. Texaco Havilon Supreme. And now, proof of Supreme Protection and improved mileage also comes a new Havilon Supreme 10W30. Citation, excitation, yeah. Driving fun with front wheel drive. Citation, transportation, yeah. Citation seats, not four, but five. Citation, innovation, uh -huh. A special hidden storage place. Citation, recreation, yeah. And wagon like cargo space. For just about anything you want to do, Chevy Citation's the perfect call. Now get new dollar savings on 81 cents. Made possible by special incentives to Chevy dealers. Plus money saving 13.8% financing. Homeowner's insurance or car insurance, when you have a claim, you want fast, fair service. State Farm agents see that you get it. For some claims, we can even pay you right on the spot. On other claims, your agent works with experienced State Farm claim specialists. Whether it's a homeowner's claim or a dent in your fender, we work as a team to give you fast, fair service. State Farm teamwork, it takes the hassle out of claims. to start the second quarter and for those who are expecting a runaway it is certainly not two nothing kansas leads on a block punt out of the end zone for a safety and now arkansas state's outstanding field goal kicker six of eight this season scott mcdonald hit this one from 28 a 38 yard field goal and it doesn't look pretty but it was accurate it was a low line drive but he hit it through from 38 yards away and arkansas state has the lead on kansas three to two well, it wasn't very artistic, but uh, as you say, he got it through. He kicked four field goals last week against Central Michigan for a school record. So McDonald is uh, really adding to his team. He is just a freshman, too, from El Dorado, Arkansas. I want to remind you, Monday night on ABC, 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock here in the Central Time Zone area, the NFC Western Division champion Falcons, led by one of the NFL's best, Steve Barkowski, a quarterback, take on one of the three undefeated teams left in the NFL, the Philadelphia Eagles. Remember, that's Monday on ABC's Monday Night Football, 8 o'clock over most of these ABC stations. So Scott McDonald's field goal gives the Indians something to cheer about. They've got some people here from Jonesboro to cheer the team on. Standing deep for the Kansas Jayhawks will be Bob Johnson along with Jerry Green. They are the deep. Mark Stadler, number two. Stadler, number two, will kick off for Arkansas State. It is taken there near the goal line by Bob Johnson. Johnson slips ahead to the 20 to the 23 yard line. Good return for Johnson. Defensively, 37. Dougie Robinson made the hit for ASU. 14 48. Left to play in the first half. And Arkansas State, a surprising 3 2 leader over Kansas. The Jayhawks. As John Hadle, our offensive coordinator, told us, looking for some consistency on offense and some big plays. Frank Sire, the quarterback, split backs behind him. Goes to the fullback, butts, butts to the 25, and is knocked down there. And this is exactly what the coaches that did not want to have happen. They did not want to let Arkansas State hang in this game early. If they were sky high going into this game, can you imagine how they feel now being ahead 3-2? to two? Robert King, 45, made the stop for ASU. Three-yard gain on the play. Second down to seven. The Hawks at their own 27-yard line. Frank Sire, a little confusion in the huddle, and Frank Sire has called a timeout here. He'll go over to the sideline to talk to the offensive coaching staff. 
John Hadel with the ball cap waiting for him there. So while Frank Sire and the Kansas offense talk it over, we'll take a break. Does life seem tougher? You bet it does. With inflation and taxes. It seems like I'm working harder and making less. Sometimes it gives me a miserable headache. Life got tougher and we got stronger. This is Extra Strength Excedrin. Unsurpassed strength with the two most powerful pain relievers you can buy. And a third ingredient that may make them work even harder on your headache. The headache. I fight back with Excedrin. Extra Strength Excedrin. Capsules or tablets. Life got tougher and we got stronger. Summer's gone. And guess who's just around the corner? But before old man winter's fuel bills get you, it's Think Pink time. Just enough time for you to get Owens Corning fiberglass insulation and add an extra money-saving layer to your attic. Think Pink time is now. Get your pink Owens Corning today. Time is running out for baseball's playoff hopefuls. The key games tomorrow on ABC Sunday Afternoon Baseball. Baseball tomorrow on ABC. In fact, the big ABC trucks will be heading from Lawrence over to Kansas City after this football game this afternoon. And we've got a football game for you. Arkansas State has taken a 3-2 lead over Kansas. Early in the second quarter, as you look at Frank Sire, second down, seven. Sire wants to throw, and it's in and out of the hands, and almost intercepted by Victor Montgomery. 86 had his hands on the football as Wayne Capers, the flanker, could not hold on to it. Well, Wayne Capers has had 10 receptions so far this year. Here we're going to watch him in slow motion. Sire threw the ball right on the button. Usually Capers catches everything thrown to him. It was maybe just a little bit behind him, and it was almost intercepted. Broken up there by Monty Montgomery. Victor had just about had his hands on it. You're right, Bob. Almost had the interception. Third down and seven now. Keep in mind, Kansas has to get to their own 33 for a first down. Sire makes his fullback, wants to throw, rushes off, throws to the fullback, and great coverage in the flat by Victor Montgomery, 86. So Montgomery makes up for dropping the interception as he comes back and throws Butch down for a loss on the play. The Arkansas State defense is really fired up. You know, I have a feeling that Arkansas State didn't uh, care too much about the big hate right here. They're really coming on strong, and I think these stats tell a little bit about it. Four first downs to Kansas, too. The difference has really been in the rushing, where they have 57 yards to only 21 by Kansas. Look at that time of possession. Four minutes more for Arkansas State. Just what they wanted to do. Now a bad punt from Scribner. Picked up at the 41 and knocked down at the 44-yard line is Benny McGinnis. So right now, nothing is working for Kansas. A 40-yard punt. Only 40 yards for Bucky Scribner. Three yards on the return. So the wishbone again has great field position. When we come back, Arkansas State will be first down at the 45. You already know that Napa has quality parts for American cars. But how about Napa's import parts? Well, whether you drive a Spider or a Beetle, a Thing or a Brat, or if you just happen to be driving a Rabbit or a Fox, a Miser, Midget, you can find Napa parts for it. And that adds up to dependability in any language. Because from Audis to Z cars, when the name is Napa, the standard is quality. Listen to techniques, the science of sound. A quality of technology so advanced, its infrared remote system controls 35 component functions. Hear the sonic excellence of a metal tape deck that sets recording levels by microcomputer. Listen to Technique's SL10 direct drive turntable with technology so innovative it even plays upside down. Listen to Technique's The Science of Sound. More than two and a half million fans watched NCAA Division I AA football action last season. Membership has grown to 50 teams in 1981. ABC will cover the title game December 19th from Wichita Falls, Texas. Kansas marching band. They'll be performing four time in Lawrence as we're back with 1326 left in the first half. Arkansas State, a first down at their own 45. Wishbone. Now they break the bone and send Dennis Walker motion. They pitch down in the backfield and they're going to be pulled down as he.
to get back to the line of scrimmage, number 91, Guy Neighbors, who's been a real factor so far early. Guy Neighbors and Broderick Thompson, the defensive tackles. Urban Beasley was pulled down after perhaps a gain of, well, really nothing. Leave it right at the 45, just a ball length across. Changing quarterback, here is Tim Langford in, number 12. Six foot 180 junior Larry Lacewell said he had a two quarterback wishbone, was not afraid to use either one of these young men. Langford, also a junior out of Searcy, Arkansas. Hand off and hit behind the line and spun down is Urban Beasley as the Hawks defense comes in. Marky Alexander, 47. Also number 91, Guy Neighbors. A loss on the play, and it's third down and long for the wishbone. You can take a look at it right now. Here we see that great big nose guy, Greg Smith. He is a great one. He slowed him up. And Marky Alexander, number 47, finished him off along with Guy Neighbors. I'll tell you, Greg Smith has tremendous agility, 275 pounds. He is the biggest man on the KU football team, biggest on the field. 12 minutes left. The pitch goes outside. This is Beasley trying to turn the corner. He slips and slides, and down he goes. It'll be pump time for Arkansas State. You can see right there, Bob, the water spray up some on this artificial surface. We mentioned it rained heavily early this morning. Kansas did a good job stringing that out. I don't think he would have gone anywhere anyway. Gary Coleman, the strong safety for the Jayhawks, comes over to knock him down. It is now fourth down and 12. Bruce Gartman in punt formation for the Indians. There's Dan Wagner, number five for Kansas. Oh, and Garmin gets a big rush and just gets that one off. Punt though. Taken by Wagner. Wagner's in trouble, and he won't make it back to the 20-yard line. Down he goes. 11-22 left in the first half. A 45-yard punt for Arkansas State and a three-yard return. We're calling it Oktoberfest at ABC Sports. October's best sports action starting Tuesday. The last chance battle for the baseball playoff berth. You'll see American League Division Series action. Then starting October 20th, it's baseball's premier event. Right here on ABC, the World Series exclusively on ABC Sports. It's going to be a great October. 11-22, left in the first, uh, second quarter. Arkansas State leads the Kansas Jayhawks 3-2 as they hand off. Hit, nowhere to go, bounces off, and now knocked down behind the line of scrimmage. 34, Walter Mack, a new fullback in for Kansas, pulled down by Henry Harris, number 24. You got a little help from the official there. I know Don Fambro was concerned, Bob, because obviously Larry Lacewell, in his nine years at Oak, he knows Kansas very well, and he's done a masterful job defensively so far. They have done a good job defensively. They're playing very aggressively. They're willing to take a few chances here and there, which this team has to do. Kansas opening things up. They go slot and split to the bottom of the screen. High backfield behind Sire. Sire on the option, makes the quick pitch, hit at the 20, knocked down at the 22-yard line is Garfield Taylor, Tim Allison. An outstanding strong safety, number 16. Three-year letterman for ASU came up to make the tackle. And it's another third and long situation. Kansas has not had good field position, but so far, Bob, they have really been a conservative offensive football team. They have, and in talking to uh, defensive coach John Hadel, I thought maybe they were going to open up things a little bit more today. Offensive coach, I mean. Split backs. This is their passing formation. Flanker to the bottom, split to the top of the screen. And Sire gets out of trouble. Now he's going to run. He shouldn't do that. He won't make it. They closed on him quickly. Robert King, number 45, the defend made the hit. And there again, number 10, Frank Sire. Bobby had some more time. Well, he really did have a lot of time. Here we can see the pursuit on number 91. T.J. Johnson, the uh, middle guard for Arkansas State. He's a good one, too. Very quick feed, he goes down, and he, he did a good job hanging in there making that play. Scribner with three punts for 43 yards, gets it away. This is the beauty, taken over his shoulder by Benny McGinnis. A flag is down, and so is McGinnis back at the 28-yard line. But a flag is down. But there's a great example of what Scribner does to this team. That was a 48-yard punt. What a dimension when you've got a good defense and then you've got a punter like that means that Arkansas State is usually going to be starting way down in their own territory. Well, ASU got a break there. Illegal procedure is indicated by referee Dan Foley, so the Jayhawks will have to punt it again. So wipe out that 48-yard effort. 
by Scribner. And they'll bring it back down the field. We'll try it again. 25 left in the first half. Arkansas State, a surprising 3-2 leader here over Kansas. You know, you talk about the average of 44.1. That's the second best hunting average in KU history. The guy who has the best in 1959, offensive coordinator, John Hadle. He was some kind of athlete here at Kansas, one of their Three. great players. Here's John Hadle. Illegal procedure. Through. John Hadle, what was he? In 1959, he was uh, All-American as a halfback, and then in 1960, came back to be All-American as a quarterback. Some kind of athlete. They've got a lot of those stories like that, though, on this Kansas team. It's, uh, hey, a lot of Jayhawks stay right here, and a coaching Mike Sweatman, who's a great linebacker for this team, is now uh, their defensive coach of the linebackers. Another big punt by Scribner, taken by McGinnis, and McGinnis is flags fly. Gets up to about the 34-yard line. Flags all over the place. This time, maybe ASU. Looks like about this time. 48 yards was marked off, so this time, this time he had 53 yards. How about that? If you don't like it the first time, will you see what I do at the next? Time? And they'll add 15 more yards to that. Here's the call. Tripping right during the run back. Well, that's the second penalty that Arkansas State's had on punts to put them even deeper in their own territory. As we said earlier, those are the mistakes that they really can't afford to, to make if they're going to beat this Kansas team. And the Indians on the board will head 3-2 at this point. 9-14 left in the first half. First and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The quarterback is still Langford. Off the right side goes Waddell Kelly, number 32. Tackle Christopher Burns, 64. Linebacker. Tied with his linebacking buddy McNorton as Vaughn tackles. Christopher Bird made that tackle. He spent the summer in the uh, Marines down in Quantico, Virginia, toughening himself up for the season. Says he lost about 15 pounds, though, on the Marine food. Here come the Indians. Second down and six, the 23-yard line. Langford, the quarterback, on the option, fakes the fullback, gets to the corner, lowers his shoulder, and gets near a first down at the 29-yard line. He'll be very close to a first down for ASU. Well, I think we're getting a pretty good idea right now how Arkansas State has come up to be fifth in the country in rushing, and this is the first year of running the wishbone. And here we have, coming out now, tucking it under. Blankford with the football, and he is knocked down, but not before he gets very close, Bob, to a first down. We'll take a look at the replay. Ham Blankford. Well, Langford uh, is a very steady ball player. He isn't quite as quick as, as Spivey at 13. But... It's first down, ASU. That's the fifth first down now for Arkansas State. Two for the University of Kansas so far. You know, it's sort of unusual, too, for a wishbone team to come along this fast. Only three games having played the wishbone. Eight minutes, 20 seconds left in the second quarter. Keeping the football, Langford goes to the corner and is knocked down at the 35, and he gets another five. Right now, Arkansas State is dominating the action here with some fine execution of the wishbone. Good shot there of Tim Langford. Rick Spivey was the starter, but Langford has done the best job in leading the offense today. Wishbone, Garth and Kelly, Walker in the bone behind him. Again, Langford to the corner, first at the 43-yard line. I gotta tell you, Bob, I am really surprised. I have seen Kansas a lot of the Big A Conference. People in Oklahoma know Kansas really plays the wishbone well. They give Oklahoma fits almost every year, but they're having their problems with the wishbone of Arkansas State. Not only did they play it well, but Kansas is an outstanding defensive team, too. That's how they got to be 3-0. and It's a pretty proud Arkansas team to come all the way up here and really be taking it to Kansas right now. First and 10, ASU at the 43-yard line in their own territory. Langford in the backfield. He won't go this time. Caught by number 91, Guy Neighbors. 
The defensive tackle, the senior, pulls him down for a loss on the play. Guy Neighbors, the big senior, 6'6", 270. Okay, here we can see Guy Neighbors as he's going to come up and uh, make this tackle. He swings at the linebacker. He's their third linebacker. Guy Neighbors, one, makes the tackle. A loss on the play of two. It is second down and 12 now. Second and 12. Bankman races up to throw. His man slips and falls. He had Chester Chisholm out there, but as Chisholm stopped to try to go back, his feet went out from under him on this wet AstroTurf. Incomplete. It is third down and 12. Well, Arkansas State is not really a passing team. They only threw seven times last week against Central Michigan. Updating you on uh, college football action around the country today. Another one of our regional games, Southwest Missouri, out in front of Southeast, 3 0 in the first quarter. And Baylor, 3 0 over Houston, that second quarter action. Fullback, big hole at midfield, 45 to the 41, first down, Arkansas State, Maurice Carson. You have to remember to appreciate the wish ball. That is a read. Every play is a read for Tim Langford, and that really takes some concentration. He shoves it in that fullback stomach and then takes it out the last minute. Well, here we can see the big right now, and he's a powerful one. He almost broke it all the way. The key player to make this work, you've got to have a strong fullback, and they do have one. 18 yards on that carry. First and 10, Arkansas State on the drive again at the Kansas 41-yard line. Oh, Carson this time is met and knocked down after a gain of just a couple. Jayhawk defender stopped him cold on the play there. 94, Brian Horn was one of them in there to stop Maurice Carthen. 4.4 yard average on the season. Carthen today. We'll check that for you in a second. After that long run. Second down eight at the 38 yard line. Here's the reverse and they're waiting for it. The pitch was back to Byron Dunning from the quarterback, Lankford, and the Jayhawk defense was waiting right there. It's a little freshman out of Little Rock. Dan Wagner, number five, has stayed at home just where he should. Okay, here we can see it from our end zone camera. Lankford strings it out, flips back to Brian Dunnick, but it was pretty well read on that one. Dan Wagner, number five. So it's third down and nine. They have to get near the 30 for the first down. They're throwing for it is caught first down. Arkansas State. A nice throw there by Tim Langford. To Chester Chisholm. They need a 10, they got it. First down, Chester Chisholm, number 27. Just two catches for 24 yards so far this season. Just made a big one there. And Arkansas State continues to drive on Kansas. They lead three to two. We're under five minutes now, left to go in the first half. Jayhawks go with an even front defensively to give them a different look, and Langford is pulled down from behind. Pulled down from behind, 77, the nose guard, senior Greg Smith, an all-conference candidate in the Big Eight. Well, Greg Smith, uh, as we've said, weighing 275 pounds. Last year, he weighed 315, so he lost a lot of weight. He got married and uh, has had a child, and then everybody said that settled him down a little bit, and he's really come to play. Watching some of the films with him earlier this week, I couldn't believe his agility. 4.15 left in the quarter. Hand off, big hole off the right side, and Waddell Kelly, the ball's no scramble for it. Kansas says they have it. The official has not decided. No, nope, Arkansas State keeps it. The referee, Dan Foley, stepped in and said, I'm not having any of this. The Kansas fans don't like it. They're still wrestling for it. Number 82, Jerry Mack, has the ball for Arkansas State, and he is not about to let go. So that brings up another third down. And long yardage, third and 10. The Indians need to reach the KU 20 for a first down. Chisholm comes to the bottom of the screen, 27, you see him there. Wishbone backfield. Two tight ends. Franklin wants to throw, gives ground, lobs it up, looking down for Mack, and he can't turn around in time. 
That could not get turned around in time. Incomplete. It's fourth down. It'll be a decision time now for Arkansas State. They've got that fine field goal kicker, Scott McDonald. Well, I think with the back to his, the window is back that uh, we're going to see McDonald come in and try another one. Scott McDonald hit his first attempt today. So he is now seven of nine. That was from 38 yards. He has it now at the 37, a 47 yard field goal. His best this season is 52, so he can kick it this far. McDonald, the freshman, the field goal is up. It's perfect. McDonald hits it again. What a job this freshman from El Dorado has done for this team this, this season. Two field goals today, four last week at Arkansas State. Leads the Shock Jayhawks six to two. Uh, Rainmaker to ground. Okay, Rainmaker. One more, how to do it? Raj, picking us up a refill. Tell that fire not to go anywhere. <laughs> Bullseye, you got it. Does that mean it's Miller time? Uh, Roger, over and out. Well, it's time to relax. One beer stands clear. If you got the time. If there's one tire that dominates America's racetracks, it's Goodyear's Racing Eagles. And now we've tamed our Eagles for the streets as a new line of high-performance radios. Eagle NCT, our ultimate performance radio. Eagle GT, already chosen as the optional radial on the 1981 Corvette. Eagle ST, with performance that belies its price. The Eagles, tamed for the streets, but far from tame. Next, college football magic continues. Undefeated fourth-ranked Pittsburgh, led by quarterback Dan Marino, tackles South Carolina or other games. Doubleheader intrigue, next. Mark Stradler will be kicking off as we welcome you back to Lawrence, Kansas. Chris Lincoln along with Bob Beatty. And Arkansas State, a surprising 6-2 leaders over Kansas, 334 left in the first half. Stadler hits that one right out of the end zone. I tell you something about this Kansas offense so far. It has produced no points. The only points on the scoreboard was a block punt that went out of the end zone. In their scoring drive for Arkansas State, they went 14 plays, 51 yards, a 47-yard field goal by McDonald to give them a 6-2 lead. But so far, Bob Kansas had the football four times. They had it for seven plays and punted, three plays and punted, three plays and punted, and three plays and punted. Where do we see the time of possession at the halftime? They've only had two first downs in the first half. Sire. Sprints, throws, and it is incomplete. John Hadle mentioned something yesterday, Xander Rashti, about Frank Sire is just is not on rhythm. It's very important for a quarterback. Yeah, but I think that that's an easy thing to understand because Sire came in last year as a freshman. He had really nothing to lose. He wasn't supposed to do much, and he had a... Here's the first downs, 8-2, to two, Arkansas over Kansas. And uh, he had, as I said, Sire came in with nothing to lose, and he came back this year. Everybody was expecting so much that it's going to take him a little time as a sophomore. He's still young to unwind a little bit. Blanker left, split right, split backs for the Jayhawks. Second and 10 at their own 20-yard line, and Sire trying to make something happen. Jayhawks looking for a big play incomplete. Big pressure was put on by number... 96, Kevin Dunn was back there. 45, Robert King was back in the backfield as Brad Butts. 41 was the intended receiver. Incomplete. It is third down and 10. 326 left in the first half. Remind you at halftime, our Fireman's Fun flashback will be talking about the great Notre Dame Purdue series and the big upset last week at West Lafayette. And also, updating you on scores in college football and, of course, the Kansas University Marching Band. All at halftime. Stay with us. Frank Sire. Watch the throw. Under pressure. Under pressure. And he's thrown down. Back at the 10-yard line. Kevin Dunn, number 96. And there's Don Fembo. And he is a very unhappy man right now. Well, Kevin Dunn really came in and made a good play. And that's exactly what Arkansas State's been doing all year. Dunn is just back. He's had a shoulder industry he, injury. He's wearing a flak shoulder pad. By a flak pad, I mean something just like the President of the United yeah. States was so he won't get shot. <laughs> Those things cost about $300, but I, was, I tested one. You can hit a guy just as high as you want on, your, uh, on those shoulder pads, and you can't even feel it. Well, the only good thing for Kansas in this first half is running a Bucky Scribner. 
in the end zone. Scribner, the left footer. It's a low spiral away. They should get a return on this one. Here comes McGinnis at the midfield and great coverage by the Jayhawks downfield. But still, he has it in Kansas territory at the 49-yard line. 45 yards on the punt by that man, number eight, Bucky Scribner. So Arkansas State has the football again. They have the lead, six to two. You don't need a haircut, Jim. You need Brill Cream. Brill Cream? Sure. Your hair is short enough, but it's a mess. It sure is. Brill Cream's so concentrated, just a little dab keeps hair healthy looking and in control all day. Look, I'll put a little dab of Brill Cream here. Nothing here. See? Even with the hair blower, the Brill Cream side doesn't fly around. Without Brill Cream, hair flies around. Terrific. You're right. With Brill Cream, a little dab will do you. Just imagine flying to Europe free. Just for flying TWA US, it's TWA's frequent flight bonus. Fly just 60,000 miles during the next 15 months and get two tickets to Europe free. Other bonuses start at just 10,000 miles. TWA, the only airline that offers two free tickets to Europe. chance battle for baseball playoff berths. The American League Division Series starts Tuesday. Join the Oktoberfest for October's Best on The Leader, ABC Sports. Some of the Parents' Day crowd here at the University of Kansas. They're a little concerned about their Jayhawks right now as they're trailing. Underdog Arkansas State 6-2 with the football. The Indians. First and 10 at the Kansas 49-yard line. Lankford still the quarterback. Hands to the halfback Walker for a short gain on the play. Checking on some scoring updates for you. Houston has now taken the lead. 7-3 in the second quarter. Navy over Yale 12-3. Boy, Navy defense is tough. Arkansas State quarterback Tim Lankford. The Indians have had six plays of punt, three plays that block punt for a safety, three plays of punt, then ten plays for a field goal, four plays for a punt, and then another ten-play drive for another field goal. Hand off off the right side. Waddell Kelly goes down to the 40-yard line, and it'll be third and short for Arkansas State as they continue, Bob, to just control the football. And I think the biggest surprise of all is that Arkansas State can, can make some yardage up the middle. This is where... Kansas has not only been strong all year, but they've got tremendous size. Counting down to a minute and a half left in the first half. Arkansas State third and two. They need to reach the 39-yard line. Langford does the 180, makes the pitch, and they won't make the first down. Pulled out of bounds was Irvin Beasley, 29. It was Brian Horn, the defensive end, 94, who grabbed the back of his jersey and threw him down. Iowa made the number 94, Brad Horn. 118, that's what's left in the first half. A first half surprisingly dominated. Surprising probably not to the folks in Jonesboro, but uh, around the Big 8 Conference. Dominated by Arkansas State. Lankford comes over to talk to the sidelines. Want well, to remind you, right after our Kansas-Arkansas State game, we'll see another one of the Big Eights unbeaten. The Tigers of Mizzou will be in Jackson to take on the unbeaten Bulldogs of Mississippi State. Two teams ranked in the top 20. And folks around here are anxious to see how good is that Missouri football team. They should know later this afternoon. You'll know too, right here on ABC. Lankford over on the bench. Of course, Larry Lacewell, the head coach, is up in the booth, sending down the plays. And so far, tip of the cap to Coach Lacewell. He's called a masterful game. There's Larry uh, in the press box. Come on, lean forward, Larry. Well, you know, the reason that Larry told me that he was going to be in the press box is that this is the first year they put in the uh, wishbone, and he felt that he could probably, having so much familiarity with it, having coached at Oklahoma for nine years, be more help there than he would be down on the field. Just besides, it's the best, best seat in the house. Fourth and one. Percentage football all the way here. Lacewell does not want to give Kansas any... Uh, chance to have the football at midfield so his punter Bruce Gartman is in Gartman trying to angle it out of bounds and it hits at the three they throw it back try to but they cannot it will be a 
touchback and will come out to the 20 yard line. A flag was dropped in the end zone. I think it was just to signify the uh, touchback. Chris. At the 20 yard. 109. Left to play in the first quarter. In the first half. Arkansas State 6. Kansas 2. Frank Sire. Quarterback to Jayhawks all the way. Here in the first half. Sire almost intercepted. Victor Montgomery was the closest to it. Montgomery, the defensive end, dropped back nicely in pass coverage there to knock it away. Look at those yards rushing. 107 yards for Arkansas State. Only 21 for Kansas. Here we are, total yards. 120 wow. against 26. That's a total out of five yards passing the football. That's incredible. Two of eight, Frank Sire is in this first half. Outside it goes. Dr. Taylor breaks the tackle, breaks the other. Here he goes, 30, 35, 40, 45. Run on the miles of the 49, and Kansas gets a big play. Curtis Clay, the free safety, 34, saved the touchdown and ran out of bounds, 29 yards on the carry as Garfield Taylor finally shook one loose. And we can see it again in slow motion, Chris. Just a little handoff to Garfield Taylor, and he's the guy that's replacing Kerwin Belt. He has good speed, not maybe quite as fast as Belt. On the other hand, he had the most off, biggest offensive play of the game for Kansas. Here we go for Kansas, first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Taylor now 9 of 58 as he gets the handoff again. Garfield Taylor. Goes to the 45, 45 seconds left, 46 seconds left, and Kansas will stop the clock. Remember, they had to waste one of their timeouts early, and they were a little confused in the offensive huddle. So now they have one timeout remaining. 46 seconds left in the first half. It's second and five, Kansas, at the Arkansas State 45. Under College Football 81. Tomorrow we'll have highlights of these top games. Oklahoma, Iowa State start Big A conference play. Ole Miss, Alabama, one of the great rivalries in the South. Florida State continues that brutal road schedule. They play at Ohio State. North Carolina, boy, the big offensive machine of North Carolina will roll into Georgia Tech to take on the Yellow Jackets. Baylor, Houston, and Lehigh, Delaware. Highlights on College Football 81. Tomorrow on ABC, check your local stations the time in your area. 12.30 Eastern, 11.30 Central time. You know, Chris, what's been happening here in this first half as far as Kansas University and their offense is concerned is really what they've been doing all year. They had to come back against Tulsa. They had to come back uh, last week also. So it looks to me as though they really have not been able to put their offense together. They haven't been able to get the consider they need. Sire really has not thrown particularly well yet. That's been the key consistency, but don't count the Jayhawks out. We told you they've come back in all three of their first three games. There's a lot of football left. Sire drops the football. Complete confusion in the Jayhawk backfield. He turned around, and uh, the fullback didn't want it. The halfback had already left, and then Sire dropped the football. They've called another timeout. That's their last timeout with 39 seconds left on the clock, and they'll lose some on the play, so it'll be third down now and about seven. John Hadle with the ball cap on, talking to his quarterback, Frank Sire. John, he may have run out of plays on that playlist. Nothing's really worked so far <laughs> in the first half. No, it really isn't. It's interesting if, if, when you see uh, Hadle talking to Sire on the, on the sidelines. When John Hadle went out to recruit him, Sire came up and said, John, do you remember me? And he said, no, I, I really don't. I'm sorry. He said, well, when I was 10 years old, I came to a San Diego Charger camp, and you signed my autograph. Said John Hadle showed him how to throw a spiral. Now, he'll learn a lot from uh, John Hadle before he's through here at the University of Kansas, and if he's in the mold of some of the great quarterbacks they've had here, he'll have a fine career. Well, they've had some dandies. I'm thinking of John Hadle, but David James, I know, was a great quarterback here. Bobby Douglas. This school has turned out some outstanding ones. 
Third down, about seven for the Jayhawks. At the Arkansas State 48-yard line, Sire to throw with 35 seconds left on the clock. He throws, overthrows. The tight end, Jeff Schleicher, number 90, way overthrown. Sire is now two for nine, passing for five yards. And it's fourth down and six. And so Kansas cannot turn Garfield Taylor's big run into any points. I don't know how many times this may have been. In fact, one of the few times they've been in Arkansas State territory, it is the first time Kansas' offense has been on Arkansas State side of the 50 in this first half. Bad snap. Scribner trying to get it away, and he does. I can't believe he got it off, but he gets a poor putt off. It goes up high and straight. Gee, Steve Allegas, 94, I thought had a sure block on the play, but he didn't have his head up and wasn't watching the action, or he might have been able to block that one. Now nothing goes right even for the punter, Bucky Scribner. Number eight gets an eight-yard punt. Oh, here we could take a look at slow motion. It just dribbles off the floor, hits him on the chest. Bad spot to hit you, coming off the ground. He was lucky to get it off at all. An eight-yard punt for Bucky Scribner. That certainly won't help his average very much, Chris. Ricks, check it, Tim Ike. We're just going to fall on the football, and Arkansas State will say thank you and be very happy to leave Memorial Stadium at halftime with a 6-2 to two lead. Well, for a game that wasn't even on the boards as far as any kind of a prediction, this one is really an upset in the making, at least an upset to this point. A second half of football coming up, and that's when the Jayhawks are at their best. And I would hate to have to be in the halftime locker room of the Jayhawks. We'll be back with today's halftime activities after this message about an upcoming show on ABC and a word from our local station. Thursday's the night, ABC is the place. Oh, more. Oh, sir.